Today, we have some exciting news for you about the highly anticipated Samsung Galaxy S25 series. Leaker extraordinaire Ice Universe has dropped a bombshell that you won't want to miss. So let's dive right into it. Ice Universe, known for his accurate leaks and predictions, recently tweeted that all models in the Galaxy S25 line will come equipped with the same powerful processor. Just like last year with the Galaxy S23 line, Samsung is set to power all three models of the Galaxy S25. That's the S25, S25 Plus, and S25 Ultra, with the latest Snapdragon 8 Elite application processor. Now, if you remember, in 2023, Samsung used a customized version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, made exclusively for Galaxy on all S23 models. However, in 2024, Samsung switched things up, reverting to its traditional method. This saw the Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus powered by the Exynos 2400 in most global markets, except for the US, Canada, and China, where they decided to utilize the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 instead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra interestingly featured the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in all regions. It's fascinating to see how Samsung navigates processor choices based on regional markets. But back to our main topic, Ice Universe's assertion that all Galaxy S25 models will stick with the Snapdragon 8 Elite. This is particularly significant for Samsung fans. Why is this important? Well, the Snapdragon 8 Elite is set to be built using TSMC's second generation 3 in process, also known as N3e, which offers improved performance efficiency. However, there's a catch. This cutting-edge technology could increase production costs by up to 20% compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. This raises an interesting question. Will this pricing increase be passed on to consumers? Given the trend in smartphone prices, it's a possibility. To put that into context, if Samsung were to have adopted MediaTek's Dimensity 9400 for the S25 series, they could have potentially saved between $35 to $85 per chipset. However, it seems like Samsung remains committed to Qualcomm for their flagship devices, particularly when there are challenges with their own Exynos line. Rumors swirling around suggest that MediaTek had been vying for a place in the Galaxy S25 lineup, primarily due to Samsung Foundry struggling with yields on their 3-in Exynos 2500 production, but Ice Universe's latest insight suggests a clear direction. Ultimately, it looks like Samsung is leaning towards Qualcomm, once again, prioritizing the reliability and performance of the Snapdragon series over possible cost savings from MediaTek. It seems that for now, they anticipate that the Snapdragon 8 Elite will deliver the performance and user experience that Samsung fans expect from their flagship devices. Let's not forget the implications of this decision. By standardizing the processor across all models, Samsung can potentially streamline its software optimization, ensuring that all users, regardless of which Galaxy S25 variant they choose, will benefit from a uniform performance experience. This move could solidify Samsung's position in the flagship smartphone market and set the stage for another powerhouse lineup. We'll keep our eyes peeled for more leaks and updates as we get closer to the Galaxy S25's official launch. What do you think about Samsung's decision to equip the Galaxy S25 series with a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor across the board? Are you excited about this upcoming flagship series? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of our future tech updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.